Jazz Mystic Priestess welcoming you to this chat, spiritual chat, and we have the wonderful Pamela Chan with us today. Hello, Pam. How are you? Hi, good. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, thanks for being here. So you are a, a clairvoyant, crystal intuitive, potions crafter, all around magical woman, and you're really obsessed with crystals, and you're just back from the Tucson Gem Show. So tell us yeah. a bit more about you. Yes, so that was a lot of fun. We we went on the last two days because of um, conflict in time, but we still got a lot of goodies. So we just um, hit up all our favorite dealers, and we were just running around like chickens without our heads. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Um, I basically just love to help others how, um, show them how to manifest with crystals, potions, tarot cards, anything like a physical magical tool um, to bring their thoughts and ideas into reality and how to integrate the, all these magical tools into their business. So that's mm -hmm. what I'm all about. And how would crystals and essential oils help with the manifestation process? So each oil, each crystal has a different um, vibration, energy that can really help heal or help you manifest and enhance the energies that you want to call into your life. So they're already there. They're with nature. They're natural. So they're in tune to our energies. We just have to learn how to work with them and which one, you know, is best for you. Mm -hmm. So it's really bringing a lot of our vibration into consciousness. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. tapping into that, being uh, being aware of you know connecting to yourself and to your to intuition, and I think the you know having a tool can really help that because it's like a charm, it's like anchor that um, makes you realize, hey, this is reality, but I can you know manifest my thoughts into reality. Right. Yeah. Right. They're magical. I love working with crystals too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I love it. It's so sparkly. <laughs> And you have a beautiful, beautiful um, Instagram page as well. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> my business part, yeah, my business partner um, is very awesome in taking pictures. Mm -hmm. So Instagram is all about art and pictures. So she does a really good job of taking the pictures. And then my part is the posting, the marketing part. So mm -hmm. we kind of um, are really good in collaboration together because we both have skills and talents that the other one doesn't have. Right. And you sell your crystals through that Instagram page, right? Yes, we do. What is that, the, the, um, uh, the handle of that page again? Oh, Luna Prosperity. Luna like the moon. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Luna Prosperity. So yes. keeps, go check out that Instagram page. It's gorgeous with crystals. It's like, it's like you know, a candy store for grown-ups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she takes like, amazing pictures. She mm -hmm. really captures like the energy, the sparkle of the crystals that you can see in the pictures. Yeah. You know, yeah. So everybody loves it. Yeah, and you have a lot of information on the crystals as well. So it's not just the, the pictures, but a lot of really great information. What is this crystal? How can you use it? Mm -hmm. so yeah. I think that's what we're mainly about. We want to not just like bring, you know, crystals to your home as a decor, but mm -hmm. also use it to help you, you know, in your life, in your emotional life, whatever it is that you want, your goals are, we want the crystals to help you with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you built your business using Instagram. It's all on Instagram. We don't even really have a website yet. She said she's going to create one, but we just haven't had the time to do so. So basically, we just post a crystal on Instagram, and people love it, and they'll message us to purchase, and that's how we sell. Mm -hmm. So for the women um, looking at this video who also want to build their spiritual business, do you have any top tips for them? Um, I would say definitely do what you love to do. In the beginning, I mean, before I started all this crystal stuff, I was really trying to find my niche because like all the coaches are like, find your niche. And I was doing stuff that I didn't love to do because they were like, you need to, you know, shrink down. You need to focus on one person and, you know, don't do all of this stuff. But I have so much passions mm -hmm. that I, it didn't, it didn't, you know, fit with me. So I wasn't really doing anything for a long time, maybe like six, seven years. I was trying to work my business, but it just didn't work. And then I, you know, when I started with my um, first 
you know, coach that I connected with, which is also one of the tips I would suggest to them, find a coach that speaks your language mm -hmm. and you're comfortable working with that knows what they're doing. So when I did find my coach, Melissa Casera, she taught me that I can swirl everything together and I don't have to just niche down. And that's when all these things started coming up in the crystals and that really just like blew, blew us up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. And so do you have um, different methodologies for Instagram as well or you just like post, post, post? Um, we basically, we, I mean, there's, I know there's like Instagram social media rules, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so you're supposed, I think you're supposed to post like two photos a day to get traction, whatnot. But, um, we just try to post when we can, when she can give me pictures because, um, it is a creative process for her. So I don't want to like rush it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. She does take some time. I mean, everything is really well thought out. Out, so I don't want to like rush a creative process and get a junk picture, you know. Mm -hmm. I do tell her, but I do have to be like, "Hey, I need some pictures." Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Um, yeah, we just do a lot of um, to gain our followers, which turns into clients. We do um, do giveaways a lot. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I con connect and collaborate with um, Instagram bloggers that you know that connect with our brand. And um, we give them a free crystal and mm -hmm. we offer up a crystal as a gift to the giveaway. Mm -hmm. so a lot of times we get, you know, I mean, one Instagram follower, she gave us 500 followers just from one giveaway because her people were interested and, um, and you know, they, everybody wants a crystal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. So that's been the main thing that's been working the giveaways to attract, you know, a bunch load of followers that are actually interested. And it's not like I'm buying followers, you know, right. So they are um, engaged followers that really love what we do. So you should always look at your likes mm -hmm. and followers. If you have like 10,000 likes, but you're only getting a hundred, I mean, 10,000 followers, but you're only getting like a hundred likes, mm -hmm. that doesn't match up. You know, you need to do something different. It's not about the amount of followers, although we really want to hit that 10K. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's about who's, you know, who's chatting with you, who's engaging, who's liking your post. And of course, that leads to them buying your stuff. Yeah, I totally agree. Because a lot of coaches, um, there's so much about the numbers, but not about the quality. And, right. and I agree that the quality of the people in our tribe is a lot better than just like having a number of people who right. never read or who never engage. Mm -hmm. And I do try, I do try to give them a lot of value, a lot of free stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, because I learned from my coach that you, not every news letter you want to sell them, not every post you want to sell them. Yeah. So yeah. it should be like 10% of the content that you send out mm -hmm. either way. So everything else should really be building, connecting, and giving them value. Mm -hmm. That those are all great tips. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's talk a little bit now about your next adventure, which is a launch of your own crystal deck. Yes, I'm so excited. Deck. Yeah. So um, it's actually next in two weeks. I've two been saying weeks. like, it's in a month, it's in a month, but it's in two weeks. So, so I have my, where is my crystal unicorn tarot. It's gorgeous. Thank you. So this is launching in two weeks. So I've decided to go with the crowdfunding. I do have the first, um, first set available that I already financed, but um, I'm hoping to get more. So the crowdfunding really makes sense. So for people to support me on my journey mm -hmm. and um, it's just been I mean this has been in creation for over a year mm -hmm. so I was trying not to rush the process um, it's all about you know letting the magic bake and have time to develop also mm -hmm. so I, I did take I did plan a long <laughs> a long creation process I just didn't want to be like hey it's done it's out okay I'm gonna you know yeah now yeah. I really wanted to feel good and not having to rush and, you know, stress out because I know a lot of times um, a lot of entrepreneurs stress out during launches, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, we got to get our stuff together. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's a crazy process. It is crazy. Mm -hmm. And I find, especially in the spiritual business sector, 
a lot of women lose a little bit of that connection with the divine because it's all about, again, the numbers, about the outcome. Yes. And it's not always balanced with the magic and the divine feminine magic is about receiving and, and let it, letting things bake, like you said. Yeah. So I really tried to just, you know, of course I have to go out there and take action and market. So mm -hmm. I've reached out to, you know, five, you know, a few of my favorite tarot bloggers um, and five of my top ones actually said yes. And they're doing reviews on my deck, mm -hmm. um, like Anthony Dawn mm -hmm. and a really big one um and vix she's the hipster the tarot hipster and i really the new age hipster i really love her mm -hmm. so i mean i did take action but it wasn't rushed um i just sent you know sent them i scheduled it on my calendar okay this is a month that i should send it out and of course this is a month that i should do my interviews mm -hmm. and i should put out my facebook ad mm -hmm. and um, i joined a really nice tarot group so mm -hmm. i've been Eating my tarot cards in there, not really promoting, but just sharing it to get, you know, interest. So mm -hmm. I've been doing that for over a year. Nice. So it's like, I, I don't have to do it, squeeze it all in one week. And that feels really nice to me so that it can just, it just grows, you know, organically. Good. And then you still love your deck, right? <laughs> I think I still, yeah, I still love my deck. I mean, it was really hard for me to edit, actually, because my um, illustrator, my artist, which is also my good friend, she would um, send me the the first draft or something, and I'd be like, oh, it's it's so cute, it's perfect. And then later on, we like look at it, and I'm like, oh wait, it's like missing the unicorn horn, or right. the crystal's not even on the card. Like right. I forget because it's so cute that I'm just like, oh, I love it, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do all the time. Yeah. Good. Um, so that is wonderful. So if someone wants to get a copy of your tarot deck, where can they go? Uh, right now, they can sign up for notifications. I launch on February 27th. Mm -hmm. So they can go to bit, B-I-T dot L-Y mm -hmm. slash crystal unicorn tarot. Okay. So that I will be writing that down. <laughs> yeah. So they can um so they can sign up for notifications and you also get a free gift. You get a free cheat sheet. So um it's it's all my cards. It's really cute. My graphic designer is really good. And like if you're doing a reading and if you get stuck on one card, you can kind of glance at the cheat sheet and it'll tell you like the, you know, the major energies of the card. So you don't have to like flip back into your guidebook. I mean, you can, but it's just a lot easier. And that might like spark something too. Like, oh yeah, that's what that card means. Right. Yeah. So they and get to really go with the imagery as well, because I'm sure you agree when you do a reading, it's more about your own intuition process and looking it at the card, like you're looking into a, like a, like a book, an illustrated book, rather than by the letter. Right, like reading a story. Um, but I do think that a lot of people get um, hung up on the, you know, the real meaning part, what the, what the guidebook says. So I kind of wanted them to just have something to build their confidence mm -hmm. and be like, okay, so this is what this card means. Yes. And maybe it'll like activate a flow, you know, a flow and a connection with their intuition that they can be like, okay, so this is what the card means. Now, now I get it. Now I got the energy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So activating that flow is really where, with practice, where you want to go as a tarot reader. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's flow. the key. I mean, um, all these things, crystals, tarots, oils, technically you don't need them because our mind is so powerful and our intuition is so strong if we just connect to them. Yeah. But I mean, why not have tools to help you? make it easier, right? But sometimes when I do readings, I don't need my tarot, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm just connecting with my guides, my intuition to do the reading, which is what you should be doing with the tarot. Yes. yes. Yeah, and the tarot is a tool and it really enhances our human experience because when we are a soul in a body, we have all of our senses. And I find that it's the, the oils and the crystals and, and everything that's visual like the tarot, they enhance the, our physical senses so that we can have that gateway into the intuition. Yes. Yes. I totally believe in that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Good. So I am so excited. I'm going to go sign up for the advanced snow oh. at Unicorn. And I'm just inviting everyone else to um, sign up as well because it's beautiful. I've seen a few of your cards already. Yes. Um, and they're just so playful. Um, and, and they have that crystalline energy, very joyful energy. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that would be a good addition and, to my collection here. Oh, yeah, you do have a lot. Yeah. Yeah, what I really loved about um, sending my deck out to these um, inner, you know, to these reviews with these top tarot bloggers were that they all really loved my deck and, and made them happy. So that was like a confirmation that, um, you know, I created something, like I, I reached my goal. Yeah. And um, I really made sure that my guidebook was, I guess you could say, correct, but also speaking the language of like a normal person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, my my tarot mentor, who is the creator of the um, animal tarot, animal totem tarot, mm -hmm. she actually helped me, you know, edit my guidebook. So mm -hmm. it wasn't just like something I threw in there, but she's like a tarot master. So she made sure she'll be like, wait, this card does not make sense. You need to rewrite this. Right. <laughs> oh. right. So we made sure that everything was like on point, but um, it's light, it's fun. And I just basically, I'll be like, oh, this card is victory. You know, you succeeded, you reached your goal. Mm -hmm. Like it's really simple out there. Not so woo because mm -hmm. sometimes I, even myself, I have a hard time reading the meanings of the deck. Yeah. I'm like, what does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and, and at times there can be so many different meanings for the one card as well. And mm -hmm. there's so many different symbols. There is, um, you know, whether there's a cup, whether the cup is, is on the ground right. going out or if it's standing up if the person is looking straight at you or looking to the right or looking to the left if the dog is at the foot or if the dog is yeah, yeah. <laughs> I try to keep my I try to keep them super simple so it's basically their rider white deck mm -hmm. except everything is unicorn right so if you're really familiar with that then it'll be easy for you to read and hopefully connect with mm -hmm. and for the new new tarot readers people who are you know very curious but haven't gotten a deck yet it's you know fun bright and you know not scary because a lot of the new um, curious people have been telling me oh they were so scared of tarot but you know they love unicorns and they're so excited to just try this deck good yeah I'm excited. I'm looking forward to having my copy. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> a couple weeks time. Um, yeah. So let's talk about another one of your passion, okay. which is essential oils. Yes. Yes. How so, did you get into this um, this field of oils? So actually, I've always been um, interested in herbs, oils. Um, I didn't really study it, but like back before I actually well now we're both with doTERRA which is mm -hmm. awesome company but I have to admit I actually signed up with Young Living like over 10 years ago okay <laughs> so I was like using Young Living oils um but after a while I got converted to doTERRA because my friend was using it and I wanted to help her out so I started buying oils from her and last year I got um really sick actually like a chronic illness um for my bladder and i was only i was using oils and natural remedies to help me because i was sick of taking antibiotics and they weren't working you know real medicine. so i just switched everything naturally and the oils really helped me get through it so i became a really big believer of the oils and um in November, Lexi, she's a really good friend and our mentor, and she was just like, hey, I'm doing, you know, I'm doing oils, and I'm just like, I'm in. Yep. <laughs> because I knew, um, and because I knew then that I really wanted to incorporate oils into my business because I was already sharing it with other people. I'd be like, hey, you know, you can use this Kristen oil, go see my friend. But she wasn't really building a business with it. Right. So it was kind of going nowhere, you know? Right. So um, so I, I decided then I wanted to follow Lexi because I knew she had a business plan and she's going to treat this like a real business and that I can really incorporate that into my business. And, you know, this could be like a cohesive healing process for everybody. It is. And mm -hmm. I do recommend that to um, everyone who's listening, who's a healer, massage therapist, 
um, crystal enthusiast, anybody doing healing. And if you have a sacred space, mm -hmm. having oils is such a wonderful way of, of boosting your practice and boosting an income as well, right? Mm -hmm. I think so, because I mean, even in the ancient Egyptians, you know, um, China, everywhere, they've been using, they've been using oils for ceremonies, for rituals, for healing. Um, so why, why shouldn't we, you know, do what worked before, right? Yeah. Before all these pharmaceutical companies come. Um, my take on the oils, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not a mom with kids, so I'm not like, hey, this, this oil is great for your kid, which, which I can help out too if they need. But basically, I'm really focusing on the emotional healing, the magical properties of the oils um, to, go, to go with my business. Yeah. So there's so many ways you can play with it, right? It's Absolutely. like what, yeah, what resonates with you? What's good, you know, better for your business? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love the practice of anointing my crystals with oils as well. I find it's just, they kind of vibrate a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It does. Layer on, you got the crystal, you got the oils on top, and then I got Reiki on top, and it's just like, wow. it really vibrates. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I should, oh, that. Well, I do Reiki and cleanse every crystal before I send them out. Mm -hmm. So maybe now I'll anoint them too. Yep. That'll be super powerful. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually, um, I, so yesterday was the new moon, the black mm -hmm. new moon. Mm -hmm. So it's very powerful manifesting. And I was writing in my manifesting journal and I actually anointed my journal. And after, after I was finished, you know, sealing, I sealed it and it was like vibrating in my hands. Yeah. It was so amazing. I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, we have such a magical practice, right? And at times doubt still comes in once in a while, but when we have that vibration, it's like, wow, this shit works. <laughs> yeah. But I know um, for a lot of people who are starting out though, um, I know how you feel like if you don't feel any energy because mm -hmm. that's how I was. Mm -hmm. So when I first went to my holistic fair, um, maybe 13 years ago, and I was new, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't do anything yet. And I was just curious. That's how it starts. Mm -hmm. You get curious. That's when you know you're starting on a new path. Yep. And um, I was looking at these crystal bracelets and this guy was like, this energy feels so great. And I, so I picked it up and I was like, what energy? <laughs> I'm like, I don't feel any energy. I mean, I've always been a little bit intuitive and like can guess stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. And, but I've never really felt the energy because I didn't practice. I didn't know nobody taught me. Right. So if that's you, that's perfectly fine. You just need to learn about it. Yep. You can, anybody can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was like, what, is, what energy? But now, like, when I go, um, when I go crystal shopping, um, I mean, I can feel the energies of the crystals, like, everywhere. Crystals, plants, you know, oils, everything. So there's energies all around you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And when we learn to consciously tap into that, as you mentioned before, it just, it creates miracles in your life, in your business, uh, in relationships. And so we invite everyone to tap into those specific energies that they need. So if they need a consultation, I know that you offer some crystal discovery sessions. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So I do do a crystal discovery reading. So that's actually my opt-in on my Instagram page to capture leads. So if you're an entrepreneur, that's something that you really need to do because you need to find a way to connect to people to share your service. Mm -hmm. They're not going to just like, hey, I need help, <laughs> like randomly, right? Mm -hmm. They need to, you need to share with what you do and they get interested and be like, hey, she can really help me. Mm -hmm. So that's how, so I do have a crystal discovery reading and what it does is you fill out like cool application and, and then I send you back your five crystals that can help you enhance your energies right now. Um, I'm actually, well, my coach told me that I need to do away with that because it's manual. She's right. like, it needs to be so because it is taking out a lot of my time, but it was working for me. And, um, but now with everything growing so fast, I kind of don't have enough time. Right. So go catch it before it goes away. 
Mm -hmm. But also, I'm so happy to offer anybody a unicorn discovery session with me. So it's like a 30 minute a call where we can just discuss, you know, what energies you wanted to bring into your life, what you want to manifest, your goals, and what magical tools can help you with that. Wonderful. Yeah. And that I'm sure is going to help everyone, whether they're a seasoned magical practitioner or the newbies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I did, I actually just did a reading. Um, she was a psychic medium, but, you know, with everything, it's hard to, um, because you're in your own space, your emotions get in the way. So even I reach out to other people for readings if I do need it. So she did actually contact me through Instagram. And it was really great connecting with her and um, just helping her realize like, hey, you can also incorporate these into your business. Like that might be the next step of your business, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're touching on a really great point here. When we're a healer, we do need to turn to other people for healing as well, because sometimes we can be blind to our own stuff because we're in it. Right. So it's good to have someone else to guide us and, and show us what's going on. Exactly. And I think with the tools also, um, say you're healing someone, you give them a reading and now you want to walk, you want them to walk away with something that can help them. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you're probably going to suggest crystals or oils or some kind of homework for them. So why not, you know, why not have that in be in your business already? Yeah. Like that's your, that's you, that's your service. That's part of your, you know, yeah, Absolutely. that's everyone's already doing it, but they're just sourcing out. So mm -hmm. it's a great way to, you know, capture that and keep on nurturing your clients. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we got so many great tips from you today. Thank you so much for your wisdom and your generosity and, and your sparkly energy. Well, thank you, Jazz. And um, if people want to connect with you again on Instagram, we have Luna mm -hmm. Prosperity. Yes. And on Facebook, um, it's Pamela Chen. Yes. And I'm putting all of the links also um, underneath this. And if you're listening on, on um, YouTube, you want to go to the Teachable platform because we have some extra goodies there on the Teachable platform. Pam generously gave us a PDF that you can download from there. And that PDF is, tell me again what, um, can you explain a bit of that PDF? I think it's um, how to start your magical crystal collection. Is that mm -hmm. the a beginner's guide? So it kind of gives you like a brief overview about what crystals are, what crystals are for prosperity, what crystals are for love, mm -hmm. for protection. And so you just kind of have a basic guide to go off of mm -hmm. instead of like, oh, I don't know where to start. But that's okay too. What I tell them is, you know, if a crystal is like winking at you, if you're attracted to it, that means she or he wants to go home with you and yep. you need it in your life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, every crystal is like winking at me. But I know. <laughs> But just, you know, if that one is calling you, then yes, if it's beautiful, because that's what beauty is, beauty helps you attract, like that's how we're attracted to like flowers, you know, so um, it, it wants to go home with you and yep. you take it home. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you as well said, so, ooh, this one wants to come home with me and that one. Right. And it's hard to define until you really experience it. It's hard to define that attraction. but there is right. really that magnetic attraction with crystals and, and you kind of just know when you pick one up mm -hmm. and it's not from your head. It's not, well, my healer told me I should work with this one, right? but it's when you see it and you feel it. And there's like that, that knowing mm -hmm. that's when you know that crystal is really magical for you. And I think that's why our shop is so magical on Instagram because we're able to capture the energy of the crystal on, you know, picture and people, you know, a lot of people that told me, oh, I was really afraid to shop online for crystals, but the energy on your page, you know, really spoke out to me. And I love, I just, we just love, you know, just the image of your crystal. Mm -hmm. So of course, when they get it in person, it's like more magical. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they better pick, pick it fast and message me because our crystals go pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we have like tons of new babies coming out. Mm -hmm. So we just have to get some pictures. <laughs> yeah. From all the, yeah. the Tucson findings. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. It was Thank a magical you. time. Um, and we'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Thank you, Jazz. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> Bye. Bye.